Hello and welcome to Singles in Jesus, May 2013. Thank you so much for signing up. This class is full and I praise the Lord for that. It's amazing to see people who want to um, develop their relationship with Christ. It is the most important one that we will ever have. It's the, you know, what happens after we accept him and receive him into our hearts as our Lord and Savior. And it's um, making a commitment to allow him to be a Lord of every area of our lives and in specific um, the area of helping us find our spouse and helping us really understand who we are in him so that we can be successful at loving others. And that's what um, life is all about. When we love others well, it's because we're able to learn who God is and be loved by him, receive his love completely. And then we can go and share that with everybody else that we come in contact with, especially those people in our homes, first and foremost, so that they can go out and love other people's and it just other people. And it just creates a, a ripple effect, you know, and it's like a drop of water that hits and it's spreading out into other people we end up being world changers through our faith through the way the lord works through us and because we are committed to him to serve to honor him and then you know we seem to experience success in every area of our life as a result of being in a committed you know focused relationship with jesus christ and that's what we're going to focus on for the month of may i just wanted to let you know that um the way this course is going to run, it's just mentoring, so don't think of it like school or anything like that. Um, some days you'll get a video, some days you'll get an email, but you will get both. And the reason for that is because I'm just going to put out some things there that the Holy Spirit puts on my heart to help you. And then also give you some examples of how the Holy Spirit has um, revealed these things in my life or demonstrated these things in my life. You know, just as a framework, because our testimony become someone else's prophecy you know the things that the lord has done for me as far as leading me to the man that i'm going to marry and you know the place that we're going to live and even the home that we are going to live in and future children those things have been revealed to me and just as they have been for me god will do the exact same thing for you you know you just take my testimony and say lord you did this for zari i'm trusting and believing in you to do this for me as well and so um, in order to encourage you to get you started, I want to read from Ephesians 3 for you. And I'm reading this out of the ESV Bible. And I'm just decreeing and declaring this over you guys. Um, I'm decreeing and declaring in the name of the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that Christ will dwell in your hearts through faith, that you will be rooted and grounded in love, that you'll be strengthened to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, the length, the height, and the depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with the fullness of God. And I, that is my prayer for you as we go through these next 30 days together, just discovering who Jesus is freshly, if we haven't already done that, or, you know, He's always changing and always doing something new. So even if you do have a great relationship with Christ, knowing him as your number one, you know, that's going to completely change everything for you because he is whom everything stems from. You know, the Bible promises that promises us that everything that Christ has access to, we have access to because of our relationship with him. And we're going to take advantage of all those things and we're going to grow and our um, hearts are going to explode with the love of God over this month. And we're going to be out able to go out into the world and love other people. And people are going to be so attracted to the love of God in us that they're going to want to know what we've experienced and how we made this happen in our lives. All right. I bless you in the name and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I will see you May 1st. Take care. Bye-bye.